Hi friends, good morning. So let's continue our discussion about um, importance of moon, and this is the second part. So uh, because of moon uh, and Earth, they are having same core, magnetic core. You can say that they started. You know, one core want to go outside. Like when North core, North core comes to the same dimension, then Earth pushes moon, and because of that push. the south pole will come towards north pole and then it will attract it now moon is one sixth part of the earth so earth will do more uh, magnetic powers on earth because of this earth started tilting because uh, these both terrestrial bodies are in the space and they started spinning now when moon traveled actually it have lot of water during that time this bit, uh, area between sun to jupiter you can say up till mars it was very hot and basically in that much hot weather uh, atmosphere rather you can say it is bit impossible that hydrogen and oxygen will collide and they can sustain in a form of water now moon was away with that planet which was literally broken and uh, that area is bit colder because of that it has lot of uh, water even jupiter still has moon which have water because uh, that planet actually have a lot of moons which got separated everything is not made on jupiter let me tell you because jupiter is also very big we'll talk that in time so coming back to the eyes so when earth and mar the uh, moon has a small crush uh, a crush or you can say a small kind of attraction that time that water has fallen from moon and earth and earth was very very hot i tell you even if you can find from any kind of available resources you will find that there was 4000 year when water was keep on pouring on earth and because of that this whole sea is been made so uh, and that time when the fraction is made there was only one island big euro and there is one sea only it took lot of years i'm telling more than millions of billions of year when this all fraction has started of the shield so in third part i will tell you more have a nice